hello everyone welcome back today i share how to make this quick local stew that you can pair with rice yam or even as a side so keep watching if you want to see how i make this in a pot i'm going to add some goat meat seasoned with some maggi salt and onions i'm going to stir this around and cover for you to steam for about 10 minutes Ten minutes later, I go in and give it a stir. At this point, you're sure all the seasonings are locked into the meat. Now I'm going to add some water, add pepper, and cover for it to continue cooking. Meanwhile, off camera, I cook some cow skin, cow tribe, and some snails. Once they get to the tenderness of the goat meat, I'm going to add them together into the pot so that they can all now cook. So now I give this a good stir again, add a little bit more water, and cover for it to cook through. For the pepper mix, I have some long hot pepper, also known as shombo, some onions, scotch bonnet pepper, and red bell pepper. I'm going to cut them now into a food processor or into a blender. The goal is for you to blend it roughly so that it is not smooth. You want the stew to have tiny specks of pepper in it, so blend it very roughly. It should look like this. Once a knife can drive through the meat easily, you know it is cooked. So now I'm going to scoop it out and set it aside. You also want to save the stock because you need it later. In another pot, I'm going to add some palm oil and I'm using Medpack Farms red palm oil. Check the comment section for where you can get yours. Now I'm going to fry some onions and locust beans together for about a minute until it becomes fragrant. So next I'm going to season with some maggi, salt and some crayfish. Be generous with the crayfish. Now once you add the crayfish, you want to fry for just 30 seconds more because you don't want the crayfish to burn. After 30 seconds, I'll go in and add the blended peppers and stir that in as well. Now you want to fry this until the water dries up completely. So after a few minutes, you can see it has really reduced. So now I'm going to add my dry fish. I'm adding this fish at this point because the fish was not tough. If your fish is tough, you may want to add it in earlier. So once I add the fish, I like to cover and fry for another two minutes. Two minutes later, I'll go back and give it a good, good stir. And at this point, I'm going to reintroduce the proteins. Stir it around and if your stew is too thick at this point, loosen it up with some of the meat stock that you saved up earlier from the meat. So I added some meat stock because I thought my stew was thick. So I added some meat stock and then just allowed it to simmer for a few more minutes. A few minutes later, I check on the stew and it is ready and you guys, the aroma in my kitchen at this point was nose blinding. You should perceive it. So try this out. Send me pictures on Instagram at joyfulcook underscore if you get to try this out. See you in my next one. Bye.